I, I don't need your help. See why I need your help? <laughs> she wants to get married. If this doesn't make Greg smile, I don't know what will. He wants to go fishing. If I could, I'd set up a cardboard cutout of myself there, and then I wouldn't even go. She's desperate. Why did I ever get these tattoos? Can Jane Deus Hinch snag this sucker? How do I make Greg enjoy all of this? Erase it. or wedding shows, or uh, wedding planners. Most brides worry about centerpieces, their dress, chair covers, things like that. Not Amy. If I could, I'd set up a cardboard cutout of myself there, and then I wouldn't even go. I'm not sure what drew me to him, but there was definitely something. Perhaps it was Greg's outgoing personality. I like silence. That's what I like. <laughs> Well, at least he's got good genes. I found out that I was pregnant about a month into the relationship. And after happy accident number two, Mr. Romance popped the question. He uh, came home with the ring, he handed it to me, and he told me the rest was implied. The rest of what was implied? Like the can of worms this wedding has opened up? Worm number one, your mom and her dress. My mom likes to be the center of attention, and as far as she's concerned, the more that hangs out, the better. Greg, any thoughts on that one? I don't know. I like to take it easy and uh, reduce stress and go fishing. <laughs> right. OK, well, then there's worm number two. I really want my grandma in our wedding pictures. She recently lost her front tooth, so she's pretty self-conscious about it. And at this point, she says she's not going to be in the pictures. Greg? Uh, what do you think? Uh, thanks for the input, sailor. Speaking of sailors, here's worm number three, and four, and five, and, uh, I lost count. Greg can't stand them. He has no tattoos himself. So no ink for Greg, but what's been needling him? I don't really have any issues with Amy. She doesn't bug me. Other than constant nagging. That goes along with all women. Jaden's gonna love him. And by Jane, she means first lady of wedding planners, grantor of wishes, and a complete amateur when it comes to fishing. Hey, mate, what are we doing here in a fishing store? I'm shopping for decorations. A fish-themed wedding. Greg's passion is for fishing, and I was really hoping it would help get him involved in the wedding more. Yeah. But it hasn't worked. But is Greg here? He's at home taking a nap. Right. So while Greg sleeps with the fishes, Jane and Amy seek out pickled eggs and wieners at the Legion Hall. And this is where you're having the reception? Yes, it is. But still no Greg. Hey, Grandma, can you go down to the house and wake Greg up? Get up. Well, 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 look who the catfish dragged in. Is this Greg? The T-shirt says it all. <laughs> what things are concerning you? What don't you think's done? Well, I think it's pretty much done, except for the actual physical part of it, going and leaving. I don't know how I'd be feeling if the man I'm marrying and saying promises to that are for the rest of my life, if he's standing next to me going, I don't want to be here, actually. I'm not really bothered. Oh, Jesus. Is this true? Am I, am I hitting the nerve? Yeah? So I just want to get it over with and done with. I feel as though I'm dealing with a teenager, a really stroppy teenager. I am so sad that you want it over and done because this is my life, is making people happy on their wedding day. You know what? It's going to start and it's going to end, and that'll be it. Gee, thanks, Nietzsche. See why I need your help? I don't know how I can help, because I don't think you want my help. I, I don't need your help. Amy needs help with planning here. I'm fine. Amy's wedding here. I'm just here for the, you know, groom part of it. He might think that I want to walk up and punch his head. Yes, I do. I'm a lady. Don't do that. Great restraint. And he is testing it. This will be a great challenge for me. I'm going to learn something from him. I'm doing what it takes to make Amy happy during the wedding. What's but I'm that, not going to stand around and talk about it for an hour. I just want to feel like superhero. he wants to help in this. It's I do help. She wants. To, she asks me stuff, and I put my opinion in. You know, and I, and I'm going to be as miserable as sin 
But if, as long as she's happy, what a, what a get out. The words are great, I love it. I want to make her happy. But this, can we see what we've got? Is not happy. She's brought in me, and I'm a very logical, very friendly, I'll have a beer with you, oh, I'll even come fishing with you. She's a woman and she's emotional, you. and that's just what you're doing to her. It's not my fault, you're, you're the one bringing this emotional situation on her. So Jane throws a net over Fishy McFisherton and tries to bail them out with her plan. Did you realize there was that much on there? Just for that day? Sure, yeah, I did. Are you just doing it to shut me up? Basically, yeah. Are you, are you gonna be smiling in the photographs? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I can you know, force one on there. <laughs> Speeches. If we've got to this point that everybody's having a great time at this wedding, it's your point then because you've invited all these people to actually thank them for coming yeah. and write a speech. Are you going to write a speech? Most likely not. No, I'll just go and wing it when I get up there. Just forget it. Just don't even go there. You're not going to make me write a speech or anything if that's what you're getting at. <laughs> I've never thrown in the towel, but I'm getting there. On a good day, I'm a fairy godmother. <laughs> and I can grant you three wishes. If he asks me for a wish, how do I make Greg enjoy all of this? Erase it. This guy will never, he will not break me. I really want him to want this. Can I have a gin now? Today, with only five days to go, Amy and her grandma tackle the list, while Greg tackles his tackle. How am I ever going to get all this stuff done on my own? Too much for one person. Oh, I'm going crazy. Yes. Like, there's so much to do. Anytime I ask Greg for his input, it's yes, dear, whatever you like. It's been all left up to me. Do you have any ideas on how we can get Greg more involved? Uh. Not really. <laughs> Jane's tried talking to him. We didn't get anywhere with that. <laughs> no. I don't think any talking would do with uh, Greg. I don't plan stuff like that. I don't plan stuff. Wait, didn't catch that. I didn't do any planning. She does the planning. So Amy plans on calling Jane. I think I need to use one of my wishes. I'm hoping you can find a way to get Greg more involved in this wedding thing. But while Jane figures out how to turn a joyless rain cloud into a ray of sunshine, Amy figures out how to turn a potato into a tooth. I'm not a smiler. And if I do smile, my mouth's usually closed anyway. That actually looks pretty good. And nothing like a potato. Are you going to smile in my pictures now? Oh, probably not. <laughs> but Jane has figured out how to make the groom smile. Fingers crossed. He thought he could crack me. Hold your breath, Greg. I'll break you. Hello, Bob. The weakness is the fishing. So I am going to get the best, the ultimate fisherman, Bob Izumi, to come and talk to him about weddings, but in fishing terms. OK, here's the deal. I'll take him fishing on one condition, that you have to come with us in the boat, OK? I've got to come. Those boots are made for fishing. I can't wait to see when I put these two together. You want a reaction from Greg? I'll get you a reaction. But today, Amy's trying to get a reaction from Greg because she needs backup to deal with the double mom dress drama. Both of our moms are planning on wearing their wedding dresses to the wedding, and I don't feel it's appropriate. So she could use a little help from Greg. Look, it's his helping face. So I think we're gonna, we need to sit your mom down and my mom down and let them know that uh, they can't wear their dresses today. What do you think? Whatever, yes dear. Are you gonna come with me or are you gonna? No. Shocking. Well, Amy knows someone who will. I need moral support. I need your help, Jane. And I don't know how I'm gonna do this on my own. Can you believe they want to wear their wedding dresses to Amy's wedding? Mm, I don't think so. So Jane arrives for a little hand-holding. Big deep breath. Ready? Okay, let's go. Go. The accused, Kim and Deb. Jane's job, give Amy gumption. You start and I'll help. Okay. 
As you know, I'm getting married next week. As you know, I'm getting married next week. We're not too sure how we feel about having you at the wedding in, in the dress that you got married in. Okay. We're gonna have a little talk. About? You'll see. Oh, wonderful. It's, it, it's not something that's appropriate to wear to a wedding. What do you mean by that? I got married in it. <laughs> but is it the right occasion to wear it to your daughter's wedding when she should be the only person in a wedding dress. My mom thinks she's the bomb, and the truth is, she's getting up there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Gravity's taking over, and I don't know. I try to tell her all the time that she shouldn't have everything hanging out the way she does, but yet again, she just doesn't listen. Everything hangs out in it, Mom. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's a special dress because it's something I enjoy, something that I look good in. OK, let's see. Wait for it. Wait for okay. it. <laughs> it, see what I'm doing? Yeah. Shopping it is. Mm, a scary thought. <laughs> Would you like to go shopping? For what? A new outfit. I, I just speechless. I don't, just don't know what to say. Nobody has ever done anything like this for me, so. And that's what a great daughter-in-law you've got. Oh, I've got the best <laughs> daughter-in-law. I've said that to her right from the beginning. There you are. Oh, they're going to make me cry. <laughs> Before they go shopping, I'm going to give them some guidance. They have one day to do this in, and they have to get it right. The guidance I'm going to give them is we want something fitted, but not revealing. We want something the right colour. We don't want to clash. And be comfortable so that on the photographs, you're not conscious of what you're wearing. There are certain dress codes that I'd like to talk you through. Mm. This did not work. Not a good look, not suitable, hint, hint, does not mom. work. Let's talk hair, please. What I was thinking of is I'm gonna get rid of this part on the sides, right, so it's out of there, but I wanna keep my length down the middle of my back. A mullet. I was just going to say that. <laughs> what does she want to do, show up and play hockey? And if mullets aren't a punishable offence, then why not kidnapping? Because right, Jane's got three go. days to get this groom out yeah, of the weeds okay. and into right. this wedding. So what do you think it could be? What would make you really happy and infused and... nothing to do with weddings, to do with fishing? Mm. Who's your hero? I don't really have any heroes. Mr Burns? Oscar the Grouch? Who's the best, bestest fishing person? Me. <laughs> I did try, I did try. OK. Greg. TV fishing celebrity hey, Bob Azumi is standing by to give Greg some manly insight into marriage. Hey, Bob Azumi. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey. This, this wedding planning show is a tough one, man. It's a, <laughs> a lot easier going fishing. What do you say we get the boat launched and go fishing? Sure. So while Jane wades into the murkiness, the moms are on the mainland storming the dress shops. See, I like that, but I don't like the color, but I like the style. <laughs> That's me, though. Keep falling down on me. Like, don't you think I look very, sexy? Absolutely. There you go. But that's what you like. See? Yeah, you wouldn't touch not, me. You, but this isn't conservative. This. this isn't conservative. That it is to me. It's got the nice neckline. I like the dress. Uh, I don't think black is... Everything I seem to like in here is black. But maybe Jane wouldn't... Black, blue, what's the difference? They're close. Meanwhile, Amy and her bridesmaid, Crystal, have picked out colors for their wedding centerpieces. It's a lot of fish. So fish for flowers and shower curtains for tablecloths. Ah, lovely. This is where we're gonna start to really plan this wedding, right here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a fish biting right now. Hey, Bob, wedding, wedding. In a perfect world, you'd like to get married, the two of you, a witness, yeah. the minister, and get it over with. Yeah. Okay. And no buck and dough, and no reception, and no parties, and no wedding planners. Get a cast on that. It's something that you hope that is going to happen only once in your life. You got another bite going? Yeah. Bob, focus. I think he's going to have to get married in a boat. 
he's not getting married in a boat. I'll be happy. I'll be happy when it's over. You don't say. If you say that again, I, I just say <laughs> I'll swear. I'll hit him with that. Just think of something you don't like, and then picture me trying to talk you into liking it all day long. You think she's here because she likes fishing? Last chance, Bob. Let's hear some wedding tips. You gotta have some words prepared for it. Uh, I gotta. I got the. I got the gist of it. You gotta promise me. You gotta get her a gift. I mean, that it's your wedding, huh? Not happening. You're not gonna get a gift. No. Nothing. No. Oh, I think you should think about it anyway. No, I'm not getting her nothing. And, and I'll tell her that right now. <laughs> no offense, Bob, but step aside. Okay, now, Greg, I um, <laughs> you got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice large boat. <laughs> oh, Ew. Hey. Ew. <laughs> it's there a fish. you go. Oh, I've got to have a photo. Proving that doing something you hate for the sake of someone else's happiness That's can be fine. very gratifying. Fine. Say fish. As much as Jane got fished in, she needs to get the smell off her hands, especially since the moms are looking for her thumbs up on their dresses. No, before I even see it, <laughs> it's black. It looked nice at the top part. It was fine, yeah. What do you I say? know. You can't see anything. No, no. Kim still wants to be the center of attention, and she can't be. The bride is the center of attention. And so Jane focuses her attention on yet another option. The blue complementing each other. I can just see Amy in the middle of you, and you look fabulous. Meanwhile, back in Tattoo Land, Amy regrets making freaky fashion permanent. I just don't see how this is possible to cover them up. I don't know what to do. Why did I ever get these tattoos? It's my wedding day. It's the one day where I thought it would be appropriate to have them covered. Yeah, that looks great. I don't know what we're going to do, Crystal. Look at this. I'm covered in makeup. It's going to be the same with my dress. Yeah. Looks like our tattooed lady is up a creek. But she has a paddle. Jane, get ready to spin that magic wheel. Is that Greg shopping? Is the wish working? Maybe Bob Azumi made an impression. Is there anything particular you're looking for? Maybe I can help you find it? Uh, no, I'm just going to look around, I think. It's a special right. occasion or birthday? Uh, it's the wife's wedding. Wife's wedding? Yeah. yeah, your wife's wedding. But you might want to show up. Well, he does want to get her a gift. That's nice, right? This is stupid. Never mind. Amy just wants to be a happy bride, but she hates her tattoos, she hates her mom's dress, and her fiancé's nothing but a cranky wedding hater. Her wishes, number one, make Greg happy about this wedding. Number two, cover up the moms. And number three, cover up those tattoos. The wedding is spread over two days, and today is a big ceremony, and Jane has sent in one of the special effects superstars behind movies like Hairspray, Chicago, and The Hulk. Jane has prepared me for the tattoos. To make good on wish number three. I work in theater, I work in film, fashion. So how, when did you get these tattoos? About eight years ago. Yeah, all of a them? A long time ago, yeah. All of them at the same time? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Wow. I worked in a tattoo shop and had a lot of ah, spare time. Ah, so. I got you. <laughs> Who is it? It's your fairy godmother. And new fishing mentor. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Nearly there. Nearly, Nearly ready. Almost. And have you told the guys about your fishing trip? Oh, yeah, they're on. Right. I've got waders on and everything. I have no idea what we're doing. I've never been fishing before. Did you hear who caught the fish? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two men. And there am I going, plop. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, I've caught on some weed. I never thought. Soon leave that part out, yeah. Catching a fish is one thing, but lying about the size is what makes wow. Jane a pro. <laughs> Keep your professionals. Yeah, there you plop. go. <laughs> you have to first block out the tattoo. I use a, a orangey red base, which kind of replicates the blood in the skin under the surface. I mean, certainly it will last you through the evening. But, uh, you know, again, it's a, it depends how, um, how strenuous the activities will be over <laughs> the next couple of days. <laughs> Leave it at that. <laughs> Are you blushing? <laughs> uh, think happy thoughts, happy thoughts. I then will go in and cast a little bit of um, an airbrush over top just to kind of blend everything together, and then we seal that. Jane. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I think we're doing okay. How are you feeling? Good. 
Yeah. What is it like to, to look in the mirror and be back to plain skin? It's pretty crazy. I haven't been like this in eight years now. And Amy's transformed from biker chick into blushing bride. Is this your wish granted? Yes, it is. And Grandma does her own cosmetic fixer-upper. Just grab a potato and pop her in. Smile. And now, hopefully, it's Amy's turn to smile when she sees the moms. Wow. Cleavage control? Check. Absolutely perfect. And I know Amy was bowled over by it. Did I grant you your wish? This is more than I ever imagined possible, Jane. Let the fish wedding begin. Will you please put the ring on the wedding finger of Amy? This is my promise. This is my promise. To love, honor, and respect you. Congratulations on your marriage. You may now kiss your bride. Hey. Not quite a smile, but he does double dip on the kiss. Oh, it's pictures. Yes, pictures. Did someone say pictures? You go, Grandma. The tattoo cover-up was awesome. Looking back through the pictures, you can't see any sign of them. It was like they weren't even there. The next morning, it's reception day, and Greg's last chance to make an impression. <gasps> Is that a speech? Hard to tell. What's this? It's for you. A gift? Is that them? Yeah. Yeah. More than a gift. You're awesome. A gift certificate. Are you going to come shopping with me? No. No? At least you're smiling. That's what I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait a sec, mm -hmm. something fishy going on here. What are you going to help me do for the wedding reception? Decorating-wise, are you going to help set up and stuff? I'll be happy to help you. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> you saw it here, folks. And so once the shower curtains are spread and the bingo chairs are dressed, you can barely tell it's a Legion Hall. Amy has decided to bring her tattoos to the party. Guess she ignored Greg the makeup guru's advice about strenuous activity. <laughs> and it looks like Greg is about to break another sweat. Hello, everybody. You know, when we first thought of weddings, I thought uh, that it was a piece of cake or whatever. Uh, go fairly smoothly, and then, uh, and then all the pressure started building up on Amy, and shortly after, transferred to me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that was uh, basically how it went. And I have to say that Amy looks beautiful. So Jane discovers that hell can freeze over and that a happy ending is always worth fighting for, even if it smells like fish. Greg even told me that I looked nice. She didn't know what to think. I'm just or saying say. that because all women like that. Uh, we'll just ignore that one. It is his wedding day. Greg lets on. Bob Zumi didn't have an effect on him, but I think he did. He came home. He actually started helping. Greg, you surprised me, and thank you for surprising me. I don't even know what the three wishes were. <laughs> You know, a lot of the TV fishing show guys like to kiss the fish. What do you oh, think, Greg? No, no, they don't kiss any fish. So Amy wanted to have Cinderella dress. I don't know, did the storybook, did Cinderella have tattoos? Don't think so. He's been in the boat all the time with Bob fishing. Did you catch any fish? No.